good morning myself mohanavalli working as an assistant professor in biomedical department of erodu singundar engineering college i am going to handle bio control system for 30 years so before we are going into the topic first we have to know about what is bio control system okay so bio means which is nothing but human body okay we are going to study about the control system present in our human body and control which is nothing but you are going to control some of the parameters present in our body so it is called as a bio control system so in unit 1 topic is control system modeling so these are the topics we have to see in the unit 1 so in this video lecture i am going to uh, tell about only terminology and basic structure of control system and example of a closed loop system so first one is what is control system so a control system is a device a set of devices to manage command direct or regulate the behavior of other devices or systems so which is nothing but you are going to command the system okay so it is a interconnection of two or more elements okay you are going to command or direct the signals okay direct the devices to produce the desired output is called as the control system so some of the application of control system are control of temperature liquid level flow velocity pressure and acceleration etc for example if you are considering a control of temperature means if uh, you want a room temperature as a 25 degree celsius but the room temperature is 30 degree celsius means now you are going to reduce the temperature by 5 degree celsius for that you are going to design a system which is controlled to maintain a 25 degree celsius throughout the day so it is called as a control system and these are the examples of the control systems so what are the elements present in the control system so basic elements of control systems are input output and process so input which is nothing but uh, it is an signal only you are going to give a signal as an input and process some of the processing techniques ha are performed in the process element then output which is nothing but you are going to get a desired output based upon the input signal and process so basic definition system an interconnection of elements and devices in a sequence for a desired purpose so as we already said control system which is nothing but it is an interconnection of two or more elements to produce a desired output same system is also a same thing so it, it, uh, the system does not control the parameters but it is a dis interconnection of two or more elements for a some desired purpose and control system means when output quantity is controlled by varying the input quantity then the system is called a control system because when you are giving an input signal based upon the input signal only your output is controlled so the output quantity is controlled by the input quantity so it is called as a control system next element is process so the other name of process is device plant or system under control so the input and output relationship represents the cause and effect relationship of the process so the process main function is it will only produce the relationship between input and output because based upon the input some actions is going to perform in the process so based on this only output is produced so input and output relationship is made by the process only next now we see about some of the example okay first example is driving system of automobile which is nothing but one person is driving a vehicle okay so uh, here the input command which is nothing but input signal is force okay and accelerator pedal rate of fuel flow engine output control so here the output is which is nothing but speed okay so based upon the force uh, proposed by the leg muscle to the accelerator okay when you are giving some force for the accelerator means the rate of fuel flow will increase okay if rate of fuel flow is increased the engine will work at a faster rate if the engine works fast means the speed of the vehicle will 
will be different so based upon the force only you can get the vehicle speed as an output okay so here the speed is mainly depends upon the input parameter which is nothing but force here force is the input signal and speed is the output signal so the accelerator pedal engine rate of fuel flow these are act as a process okay now we see about the representation of control system how we are going to we now we see about only the basic elements of control system next one is a representation of controlled systems so in this first one which is nothing but reference input you are going to give a signal as an input so it is a reference input and there is a summing point okay in that summing point only you are it uh, it acts like a comparator so it did uh, it compares the input signal and feedback signal so the output of the summing point is which is nothing but error signal which is given as an input to the controller so the controller main function is able to produce the actuating input signal and the control system so here the in this control system which is nothing but it acts like a process some of the actions is happened in the controlled system and you are going to get the desired output as a controlled output okay now we already said comparator there is a comparator summing point acts like a comparator right so the comparator compares the input signal and feedback signal so here the feedback signal is taken from the controlled output and feed forward to the input signal and we are going to compare this to to reduce the error in the system so these are the representation of the control system okay first one we already said reference input which is nothing but it provides input signal for desired output because whenever you are designing a system means you are going to get a desired output only so for that purpose only we are going to give an input signal then error detector which is nothing but like acts like a comparator so it is an element in which one system variable is subtracted from another system variable to obtain the third variable also called the comparator then third one is a feedback element here the feedback is taken from the output signal only so it measures the controlled output and convert or transform to a suitable value for comparison with the reference input so first it measures the controlled output so it takes the in uh, signal from the controlled output and convert it to a suitable value by comparing it with the uh, reference input then third one fourth one is error signal which is nothing but an algebraic sum of reference input and feedback and another parameter is control as i already said it is going to give an actuating error free signal so it is an element which is required to generate the appropriate control signal so the controller operates until the error between controlled output and desired output is reduced to zero so the main function of the controller is so the difference between the desired output and controlled output should be zero until it acts like a it is operating okay so in uh, uh, when compare with c program the controller acts like a for loop okay how many iteration you are given for that whole iteration the program will run so same here also the difference between desired and controlled output should be zero until this this controller will operate next parameter it uh, controlled system which is nothing but it acts like a process so it is a body plant processor or machine of a particular condition is to be controlled so some of the particular actions is happened in this controlled system example room heating system uh, spacecraft and a reactor boiler Uh, so room heating system as i already said as an example if uh, the room temperature is 25 degrees celsius if you want to increase 30 degrees celsius means there is some of the amplifier you are using to increase the heat to 30 degrees celsius then last uh, last one is controlled output so it is produced by the actuating signal available as input to the controller so which is nothing but the controller input is an actuating signal based upon that only your controlled output will be produced 
so the controlled output is made equal to the desired output with the help of feedback system so our main aim is the control output should be equal to desired output okay if it is not so you are you are going to use the feedback to get a desired output for compared with the controlled output so next one is basic structure of control system so in this just see so a, a is which is nothing but a reference input element so from that only you are going to give one reference input and that uh, summing point which is nothing but acts like a comparator and d d is which is nothing but a control logic element so these parameters acts like a controller and g a and g p so g a is the actuator element gp is the controlled system element so these are present in the plant and y is which is nothing but controlled output h is the feedback element and b is the feedback signal so you are going to take a controlled output as a input to the feedback and from the feedback the feedback signal is going to the error detector so the error detector now detects the difference between the reference input and the feedback signal here e cap is nothing but a actuating error and u is the control signal w which is nothing but a disturbance input so whenever you are going to design a system means there is some of the additional noise or any disturbances will added to it because our environment consists of a sound noise or else it's uh, there is a temperature effect so based upon this that the system will be affected by external noises so omega is which is nothing but disturbance input and m is the manipulated variable so some of the actions performed there so based upon that the manipulated variable will be created so this is the basic structure of the control system okay next main uh, main thing is classification of control system so the main classification of control system is which is nothing but open loop and closed loop control system this is the major classification of control system then other classification are linear and non linear control system time va invariant and variant control system continuous and discrete control system lumped and distributed parameter control system deterministic and stochastic control system static and dynamic control system saso and mimo control system saso which is nothing but single input and single output mimo means multiple input multiple outputs so let us see one by one what are the classification of control system how it differ from the others so the first classification which is nothing but linear and non linear control system linear means whatever value you are giving you are you uh, you can able to get the same thing like a ram signal if one is given means you can get the one two means two three means three so it is a linear signal non linear means the values will be changed okay if the system obey the superposition principle such a system is called the linear control system so superposition principle which is nothing but the uh, sum of individual response which is equal to total response so if the system uh, obeys the superposition principle means then it is called as a linear control system if a system does not obey the superposition principle means such a system is called as the non linear control system so first we see about what is meant by superposition principle so as i already said it is the response produced by simultaneous application of two different forcing function is equal to the sum of individual responses so which is called as a superposition principle next control system is time invariant and variant control system so from name itself you can able to identify time invariant so time invariant means based upon the time the system will not vary so which is called as a time invariant and another one is time variant so time variant means based upon the time parameter the systems 
characteristics will vary so which is called as a time varying control system so when the characteristics of the system do not depend upon time itself then the system is called a time invariant control system so for example y of t equal to minus 2 u of t plus 1 here the y of t is an output signal and u of t which is nothing but a unit step signal so here the step uh, there is no time parameters present in this signal so which is nothing but it is a time invariant system because based upon the time parameters the system characteristics is not changed so it is an example of the time invariant system so next one time variant so the time varying control system is a system in which one or more parameters vary with the time so based upon the time parameters the system parameters will vary so example y of t equal to 2 u of t minus 3 t here y of t is an output signal u of t is a unit step signal and minus 3 t so which is nothing but it depends upon some of the time period so based upon the time parameter the system characteristics will vary so it is called as a time variant system next one continuous time and discrete time control system so before we are going to say, uh, see this first we have to know the difference between continuous time signal and discrete time signal okay continuous time signal means you can get all the information of this signal at every instant of the time okay so at every instant of time you can able to get the information of the signal discrete time signal means at particular instant of time only you can able to get the information about the signal so this is the major difference between the controls uh, continuous time and the discrete time if all system parameters are function of continuous time t it is called as a continuous time control system so if the system parameters are the function of continuous time means it is called as a continuous time control system example speed control of dc motor which is nothing but continuous in matter only so it is an example of the continuous time control system so as i already said uh, let us see this diagram at every instant of time you can able to access the information of the signal so it is called as a continuous time signal so next discrete time control system so discrete time control system means it involves one or more variables that are known only at discrete instant of time which is nothing but at particular instant of time only you can able to identify the information of the signal so it is called as the discrete time control system example a2d converter so a2d converter which is nothing but analog to digital converter so in this example you can able to see ns which is nothing but number of sequences so here the between two sequence you can't able to get the information so at particular instant of time you can get an information means it is called as the discrete time control system next saso and mimo control system so saso which is nothing but single input single output mimo means multiple input multiple output so if a system with one command input and one control output it is called as a single input single output so from name itself we can understand if the system parameter has only one input and one output means it is called as the single input single output if a system with multiple command inputs and multiple controlled output means it is called as the multiple input multiple output control system okay it consists of multiple inputs and output also a yeah, multiple only example boiler drum level and robot arm control so boiler drum level means so which is nothing but boiler you are going to heat the drum which consists of a liquid okay for example if the drum is full of water you have to maintain the you have to low uh, see the water level also okay you are going to measure the water level also at the same time you have to determine the temperature how much heat you have to be applied to that boiler so like that you have to uh, maintain that 
temperature also so here many parameters are given as an input like temperature level of the water and the height of the drum like that so the output is which is nothing but based upon that heating element the temperature of the liquid will vary and liquid level also reduced because if it is vaporized means it will be reduced and the level of the drum okay the water level in the drum will all be reduced so these are the system of boiler drum level it has a multiple input and multiple controlled system and robot arm control is also an another example of mimo next one lumped and distributed parameters so if the system described by ordinary differential equation means it is called as a lumped system if the system is described by the partial differential equation means it is called as the distributed system okay so lumped means you can it consists of a differential equation if it's a distributed means it consists of a partial differential equation so partial differential equation means yeah uh, if x is the function of y and z means it is called as a partial differential fraction next uh, type is deterministic and stochastic control system so name itself deterministic which is nothing but you can able to determine the changes or determine the information about signal stochastic you can't able to determine it it is a like a random signal so if the control system response is predictable and repeatable it is called as the deterministic control system so if the system output is predictable and repeatable it is called as the deterministic control system so in the first diagram it is like a triangle waveform okay in that so it is repeated uh, in further also and also it is predictable so it is the example of deterministic control system in second element which is nothing but it's like a half way rectifier so whenever square half way rectifier so whenever the square wave form is formed and for sometimes it is zero and for sometimes it is one so it is repeatable only and it also a predictable so it is the example of the deterministic control system if the control system response involve random variable parameter such a system is called as the stochastic control system so if the system parameters is in random manner means it is called as a stochastic control system so the best example of stochastic control system which is nothing but noise whenever a noise is added to any other signal or any other system means the value of the system will vary okay so it is called as a stochastic control system next static and dynamic control system so static means at rest position dynamic means it is in movement okay so if the present output depends on past input then it is called the dynamic or time dependent system okay if the present output depends on present input then it is called as the static or time independent system okay so as i already said static means at rest so at rest whenever whatever input you are giving you are going to get the output of that input okay so in static if you are giving the present input means the output also depends upon the present input only okay in dynamic means the present output may be consist of past input and present input means it is called as the dynamic control system okay next we are going to see about the major classification of system which is nothing but open loop control system and closed loop control system open loop control system open loop control system utilize a controller or control actuator to obtain the desired response so the output has no effect on the control action that is which is nothing but it doesn't consist of any feedback so no feedback is present there so no correction of disturbances if any disturbances added to the system means there is no feedback so that disturbances is not be uh, degraded it will be present throughout the system so it can also affect the desired output also so in other words the output is neither measured nor feedback so output we are not going to measure the output also and we are not going to feedback that output to the comparator also 
example of the open loop control system is washing machine toaster and electric fan in toaster means if you are giving so already it is in a particular temperature it is maintained so whenever you are going to give a bread as an input so you can get the toasted output so based upon that uh, default temperature only you are going to get the output so there is no any feedback okay so there is no any control action performed there so it is an example of the open loop control system so the open loop control system elements are input output controller and process so it is same in the normal control system which consists of input signal you are going to given an input and you are going to get a desired output in between that there will be a controller and process so in control a closed open loop control system the reference input is not compared with the measured output for each reference input there is fixed operating condition because there is no feedback present there so if there is no any comparison is happened there okay so there is no comparison between reference input and measured output so for each reference input there will be a desired output is present there so the accuracy of the system depends on calibration because whatever instruments or whatever any medical devices if you are taking means before you are going to test okay before you are going to operate that first you have to calibrate that whether the system is working in a proper condition or not you have to calibrate it so in the open loop control system the accuracy is mainly depend upon that calibration only because if any disturbance is added to it there is no feedback to correct it and there is also no any comparator or control action is happened there so the performance of open loop system is severely affected by presence of disturbances or variations in operating or environmental conditions so based on the environmental condition some of the disturbances will be added to the open loop system so if disturbances or noises added to the system then the open loop system performance is very low next one closed loop control system so the closed loop control system which is nothing but just an opposite of the open loop control system so in closed loop control system which utilizes the feedback to compare the actual output to the desired output response so in closed loop system it consists of feedback but open loop system there is no feedback okay so based upon that feedback you can able to compare whether the desired responses uh, and the actual responses same or not like that you can able to identify so example of closed loop system is which is nothing but refrigerator and iron for example if you are taking an iron box means based upon the cloth material you are going to change the heating temperature correct so if uh, heating temperature whenever you are ironing the cloth means if the high heat is produced in uh, applied to the cloth means so you can able to reduce it also so based upon that output response now you are going to feed that output response to correct the desired output so iron box is an example of the closed loop control system and refrigerator also so the basic elements of the closed loop control system are reference input error detector controller open loop system which is nothing but plant and output and which is nothing but feedback okay so here the reference input you are going to give some of the signal or any one of the parameter as an input and the error detector so the main function of error detector is which is nothing but comparator so the other name of error detector is also called as a comparator which compares the reference input and the feedback signal so and then controller which is mainly used to uh, give the actuated controlled output and open loop system some of the process happened in the open loop system and output which is nothing but your controlled output if the desired output and actual input output is not same then that output is again fed back to the input to acquire some of the corrective actions to reduce the error so some examples of closed loop control system are here desired input is desired speed and drivers eyes and brain leg muscles 
ஆக்சிலரேட்டர் பெடல் லிங்கேஜஸ் அண்ட் கார்பரேட்டர் அண்ட் ரேட் ஆஃப் ஃபியூவல் ஃப்ளோ இன்ஜின் வெஹிக்கல் அவுட்புட் ஸ்பீட் அண்ட் ஸ்பீடோமீட்டர் விச் இஸ் கிவன் ஏஸ் அ ஃபீட்பேக் டு தி எகெயின் டிரைவரை ஸோ இட் இஸ் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆஃப் மேனுவலி கண்ட்ரோல்டு க்ளோஸ் லூப் சிஸ்டம் ஸோ இட் இஸ் விச் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி டிரைவர் இஸ் கோயிங் டு டிரைவ் தி வெஹிக்கல் இட் இஸ் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட் தே ஆர் த டிரைவர்ஸ் வில் திங்க் ஓகே திஸ் இயர் ஸ்பீடு ஓகே ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் தேர்ட்டி கிலோமீட்டர் பர் ஹார் ஒன்லி வி ஹாவ் டு டிரைவ் இட் ஸோ வி ஹாவ் டு மெயின்டைன் தட் ஸ்பீட் லைக் தட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வென் எவர் ஹி இஸ் ஸ்டார்டிங் த வெஹிக்கல் மீன்ஸ் ஹீ ஹேட் சம் தாட் ஹவு மச் ஸ்பீட் வி ஹாவ் டு டிரைவ் தி வெஹிக்கல் இஃப் இட் இஸ் தேர்ட்டி ஓகே ஸோ த டிஸ் இயர் இஸ் ஸ்பீட் ஹியர் இன்புட் த தாட் ஆஃப் தி டிரைவர் இஸ் அண்ட் இன்புட் இட் இஸ் விச் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் தேர்ட்டி கிலோமீட்டர் ஸோ பேஸ்ட் அப்பான் தட் திங்கிங் ஒன்லி ஹீ இஸ் கோயிங் டு ஓகே ஹிஸ் லெக் மசில்ஸ் வில் ஒர்க் பிகாஸ் வித் தி ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் லெக் மசில்ஸ் ஒன்லி யூ ஆர் கோயிங் டு அப்ளை எ ஃபோர்ஸ் டு தி ஆக்சிலரேட்டர் பெடல் ஓகே ஸோ டிரைவர்ஸ் based upon the driver's thinking the driver is going to uh, activate the leg muscles by giving a force to the accelerator pedal once the accelerator pedal for uh, force is applied to the accelerator pedal then rate of fuel flow will change okay if the rate of fuel flow is high means the engine work fast if it is slow means the engine will work very slowly okay so the engine vehicle based upon the working of the engine only the speed of the vehicle will vary so here the output which is nothing but a speed now we uh, that output speed which is measured by using the speedometer which is present in all the vehicle so that speedometer value is again feedback to the driver's brain if the actual output and desired output is not same it will be a feedback to the driver's eye here the driver's eye and the brain act as an comparator because it compares the desired speed and the output speed if it is same that is no problem if it is not same then driver will change the uh, force applied to the accelerator pedal okay so then the controlled so it is happened again and again like a for loop to get the desired output so the number of iterations will run here so it is an example of the closed loop control system so next the difference between the open loop and closed loop control system so in open loop control system the controlled action is free from the output as i already said the output does not depend upon any control action in the clo- open loop control system but in closed loop control system the output mainly depends on the controlled act of the system because there is a feedback based upon the control action only the output is produced second this control system is also called as a non feedback control system so open loop is also called as a non feedback because feedback is not present there then closed loop control system so the closed loop control system is also called as a feedback control system because feedback is present there then the components of the system in the open loop control system which is nothing but a controlled process and the controller but the components in closed loop control system is amplifier controlled process controller and feedback so the construction of the open loop control system is very simple because there is no any control action and there is no feedback so the construction of this open loop control system is very simple and the construction of the open loop closed loop control system is very difficult and also a complex one because it consists of controlled action and feedback based upon this only you are going to get a desired output so the construction of the closed loop system is very complex and difficult so the calibration of this system is difficult in open loop control system because the uh disturbances are mainly added to the open loop control system only compared to closed loop control system because there is no feedback signal so the calibration in the open loop is very difficult but the calibration of the system is very easy in closed loop control system because there is a feedback signal and comparator so and control action so based upon this there is no error present in the system so the calibration is not needed and it also a very easy one in the closed loop control 
system and the disturbance of this system will be affected in open loop control system s yes, there is no feedback there is no control action so the disturbances will again and again added to the system and it will uh, accuracy of the system will be affected so the disturbance of the system will not be affected in the closed loop control system and the systems are non linear open loop control system are non linear and closed loop control systems are linear because um, we already said desired output and actual uh, output should be same so which is nothing but it is in a linear manner only so the best example of open loop control system are automatic washing machine traffic light tv remote and immersion rod etc so the examples of the closed loop control system are temperature pressure speed toaster and refrigerator so these are the difference between the open loop control system and closed loop control system the main example is there is no feedback present in the open loop control system and feedback is present in the closed loop control system next we will see about the temperature control system of both open loop and closed loop so now we see about the open loop temperature control system okay in open loop temperature control system there is an ac supply which is nothing but you are going to apply an ac voltage okay to the relay control circuit okay so with the help of relay control circuit the heating element based upon the input voltage the heating element will get heated okay which is placed in the electric furnace okay the temperature is maintained by using the sensor after that it is given as an input to the a to d converter because so the sensor output is which is nothing but analog signal you have to convert it to a digital value for processing that value by the human perception so a to d converter you are uh, using a to d converter to convert analog value into the digital now we are going to interface this a to d converter with the display to uh, show the values how much amount of heat is temperature is present there like that so in this there is no any feedback is present whatever temperature it is we are going to measure it and uh, and in this system we are not going to have any control actions okay so whatever input uh, based upon that input voltage only the temperature heating element will give the temperature so based upon the temperature the sensor will uh, measure the temperature present in the electric furnace and that is converted into a digital value and that is a display in the display system okay so there is no any control action or feedback is present in the open loop control system what are uh, whatever input is given based upon the input the circuit system will perform some action and you can get the output so the output you get is not a desired output next one closed loop temperature control system so in this ac supply which is nothing but same you are going to apply a voltage to the relay control circuit okay then heating element is present inside the electric furnace okay so based upon the input voltage the heating element produces the heat which is nothing but you are going to measure the temperature by with the help of sensor okay so uh, sensor output is then changed into a a to d converter so here the analog is changed into a digital value here also we are using the interface circuit and which is given to the controller okay in that controller which is nothing but a digital control circuit or computer or microprocessor control may be okay so in the based upon the controller and the reference input which is nothing but desired temperature input is compared okay if the controller and reference input is not same then the controlled signal again fed back okay with the help of d to a converter because he the controller now has a output in the form of digital but we have to convert it to a analog so we are in in this you are going to use the d to a converter which is nothing but digital to analog converter which is given to amplifier then to the relay control circuit okay if for example your desired temperature which is nothing but reference input is 10 but the controlled output what you get in the circuit system means which is uh, 5 means okay 5 you have to increase because desired input is 
10 vo 10 degree celsius but the whatever you get in the controller is 5 degree celsius now you have to increase it so for that only you are going to use the amplifier to amplify the input voltage so based upon that amplification your temperature value will increases so this again run uh, again run and run to get the desired output equal to the actual output so it is an example of the closed loop system next example of closed loop and open loop control system is traffic control system so in open loop system the traffic is controlled by means of traffic signals operated on a time basis okay so in this open loop control system if there is any uh, density of traffic is very high based upon the time uh, traffic signals is not varied it is a constant okay for example if it is two minutes in red signal two minutes for green signal means it is constant for throughout the system so it doesn't depend upon the density of traffic and no control action is present there okay whatever signal you are uh, performed you are processed in that uh, system the same will be followed throughout the day okay there is no any changes happened in that so it is an example of the open loop system but in closed loop traffic control system means so based upon the density of the traffic the time in the traffic signal time of the traffic signal will vary okay for example consider four road okay so path one path two path three path four okay so in path two there is a heavy traffic but path one path three path four it is a moderate one day okay so but path two there is a heavy traffic okay based upon the density of the traffic in path two the traffic signal time will vary okay so then what will happen means the green light for allowing the signal uh, vehicle to move so the green signal in path 2 will vary compared to 134 for example 134 so uh, uh, green signal time is one one minute means for path 2 the based upon the density of the traffic the system will take some control actions and change that one minute into a two minute based upon the density of the traffic only okay so based upon the control action the traffic signal time will be varied so it is an example of the closed loop control system next one multivariable control system so multivariable control system means which is nothing but temperature multiple variables so from where name itself you can able to understand multivariable which is nothing but temperature humidity and pressure so if the input consists of many variable means it is called as a multivariable control system so here the input consists of three parameters one is temperature humidity and pressure which is given to a comparator then controller then process then output then some of the measurement will be taken so here the input is three input and the said output is also a three so it is called as a example of multivariable control system next one feedback control system so from name itself we can able to identify so in this control system it consists of a feedback okay a system that maintains a prescribed relationship between the output and some reference input by comparing them and using the difference as a means of control is called a feedback control system so with the help of feedback control system only the control action is happened in the system it is called as the feedback control system so uh, with the help of feedback control system only we can able to eliminate the error or any disturbances present in the system here the input is given same comparator so output of that summing point which is nothing but error signal which is going to give us an input to the controller and which is given to the process some action will be taken and output if the output is not a actual and desired output is not same then that output is fed back again to the input and error is minimized so feedback control with the help of feedback only the control actions are happened in the system so the feedback control system can be positive or negative but uh, mainly we are going using only a negative feedback system 
थैंक यू सो मच